Hey, it's Andrew of Border Farm Games, and welcome back to Oakfield Farms, where the harvest is finally commences. Woo, yes, yeah. so I've got the ba big bad boy ready to go. Uh, let's quickly, uh, not that, uh, what? What, 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 yeah, okay, so quickly close the door. And we pulled the trailer out to the field. Now the header is already out there, uh, sitting on the header cart, hidden in the bush. Uh, hopefully, I hope nobody noticed that because that's quite a valuable header. Well, if you know what you are looking for and and you know where to make money off of it, although uh, probably it's not the wisest idea to steal a header and try to sell it. Uh, well, probably on the same continent because uh, uh, it's easy to track track down. I would believe. Especially because we are talking of a uh, of a header that belongs to uh, a fairly new model, which is fairly uh, rare still. It's not very well spread yet, the Echo Ideal. Uh, so a header belonging to a Fanta Ideal raises some eyebrows. Oh, it's totally not hidden. You can see that over there. But the idea was to to have it as much hidden as possible. Probably you wouldn't notice that from the window of a, of a, of a car, a regular passenger car, but it's not a regular passenger car again, it's a tractor. So yeah, we have the trailer. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, like that. So we have the, we have the grain trailer ready to go, um, alongside the uh, the big tractor that is pulling it. The Fan 1050. Here's the header that I was talking about. You see, it's it's really really not that not that easy to to lose such a header. Uh, especially because uh, my header trailer is is sort of one of a kind. It's an it's an American one brought from overseas. It's a Maurer. Not very. This design is not very typical here in Europe. Uh, so I don't think uh, anyone in their right mind would try to take that from here. Yeah, so now we do make a nice walk to the shop where we can pick up the combine. Uh, I'm so happy that it's it's finally done. Uh, it's been quite uh, nerve-wracking because um, Well, because harvest is just starting, and and I only tried it. It was only a trial run that I did, and and it, it broke. So I guess it's modern machines and their and their computers and their softwares. It's becoming more and more of a reality. Uh, and we have to live with it in this day and age. Farming. Oh, I would love to have something to buy, but it's not the time just yet. I just had breakfast in game actually. Of course, if you look at the clock above, it's it's half past ten in the evening, so we're almost okay. So let's jump in this bad boy, fire him up. A green behemoth. Finally gets to action, 
as you can see I also have a warning triangle typical of oh yeah I remember I usually roll with this one with with traffic turned off because uh, these roads are really not for an ideal yeah it's the also it's the larger uh, it's with the larger engine it's a 90 uh, so it's got it's got this this warning triangle typical of, of uh, US farming equipment albeit it's it's not not uh, unseen or unheard of in Europe but but yeah, it's it's uh, as far as I know, it's it's compulsory in the U.S. Uh, <clears throat> but then again, what do I know? Also, it's it's got the longer pipe, which probably going to hit the uh, unless I I swipe the bush, it's going to hit the traffic. Now, this turning is something to witness uh, but we managed okay so the idea for today well the ideal is 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 over here it's 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 cared for but or taken care of but the idea is to to do two headlands or or do the headlands twice on this field which is kind of a, kind of a stretch because if you check out the minimap the PDA if you like you can see ah let's go to the menu minimap because that's I cannot cannot point with the mouse so this is this is probably the second largest field on the whole map uh, if not the not the third or if if not uh, yeah Probably the third because that's uh, 34 is the large, second largest. 15 is is absolutely uh, out of doubt the largest, but yeah, this is the third one and it's got wheat on it. So we are going to drop uh, swats as well. And yeah, so practically we we want or I want to do two headlands on here so that we have some breeding space if you know what I mean uh, we'll see how far we get uh, I mean we're okay that was a champion uh, picking up of the header yeah we're talking of a large combine I think it's it's the largest uh, commercially available combine at the moment uh, so yeah okay I think we are already the header is already set for for wheat just fine uh, we have straw sweat uh, enabled so I think we should be alright let's roll everything seems to be in working order nice uh, yeah so uh, what I did before start recording was to uh, finishing up uh, the seed drilling that gone awry the, the other day in the previous video um, I managed to fix the fix the larger field or the, yeah, the, of the two uh, off camera I mercilessly uh, sown grass over the wheat but I left field 8 with wheat for now uh, we'll do that later and, and re-sow re with grass uh, Because not 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 because uh, money issue or anything like that, but because simply that's the 
that's the the simple thing to do the easy one uh, yeah, and I'm I'm still thinking when when I when did I push Z or Z to ch switch to V because obviously that happened uh, somewhere along the line. Uh, because if you're cycling through the the seed types then wheat is coming after grass since grass is the last one in the cycle that much we know So now this this uh, combine is is uh, back in business, which is really nice. I mean, it's brand new. Uh, I, I just got it in 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 a sponsorship deal or uh, under that, yeah. So practically, it's there. For me to try out and, and tell other people how great it is. Um, we'll see at the end of the harvest season. Yeah, as I already mentioned, or, or if you have seen the, the throwback video, before that I used to have a John Deere combine, uh, which was significantly smaller but that much more agile as well um, also it was uh, it was fitted with a with a self carrying rostal mesh header uh, chop shopped together by me uh, which made it easier to, to move around the area I didn't have to mess with a, a header trailer or anything like that it wasn't working without hitches but but it did the job uh, and I also had had problems around the chopper of the combine which is pretty ironic if you consider that over at, at uh, Marvel Manor I always have to think about the name even though it's the subsidy of this farm so over at Marvel Manor uh, I have a Lexion uh, which is now down with, um, with with chopper problems uh, we will have some summer wheat need that we need to do over there uh, it's not even ready yet uh, and I do hope we can fix that by that time otherwise we have to carry this one down there as well which would be funny not unfeasible but quite the logistical uh, uh, feet or how to put it so because it, it was it was a, a sight to see when this one arrived here uh, it's it's sad that I haven't uh, had a camera on me to make at least pictures or something like that because that was something obviously it wasn't coming on foot it was it was carried in by a trailer uh, yeah and and this is this is where the problem starts if I want to move it over to Marvel Manor to do that those well one of the fields is pretty large uh, it's the largest field if you know the map um, that you start with so uh, if you want to move over there to do the two fields then I need to uh, procure a trailer which can carry it uh, and I need to organize a convoy with the header trailer um, 
and yeah it's it's a, it's a, it would be a huge ordeal so ideally uh, I would like to avoid that and I would like that the Lexion to be back in working order it's not not a new Lexion mind you it's a it's a it's a 670 so uh, it's 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 a few years older it's not the latest model It's also a terror track, so so it's got the tracks in front, not not the wheels. Uh, it seems like uh, I I have these combines nowadays, for the most part. It's not preference or anything. Uh, I'm absolutely fine with with regular all wheel combines. For that matter, I I prefer uh, smaller older machines. It just it's just not not uh, economical on these farms on my, on the farms that I own with with the fields that I have <coughs> because it's 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 the third uh, largest field on this uh, farm, but the others are not that small either so uh, it's really gotta be a, a big one. Oh, we almost did this we, we, we almost got around that 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 went well and i think we can do that before no no we can't forget what i just said we are full just like that now the trouble begins because we have to come in here uh, with the trailer uh, I, I think it will make it just barely uh, it's not going to be too environment friendly but I think I'm going to, to uh, push my way through these uh, trees uh, it's a good thing we have some space to turn around over here. Ah, oh, wading through the wheat is just so nice. All right, I don't even close the door because seriously, there's no point until we move out to the road. Also, it's going to be on the inside, so. Uh, no, it's not that a, that a, a twig or anything could, could tear it down. It's all right. Uh, you know what is a mod that I'm missing very much from this game? Uh, now that we are unloading the combine, it's the manual unloading mod. Uh, I think I have I had a rant on that already at, at some point that uh, it was one of the mods that I, I haven't done a step without back in 17 and in 15 for that matter because I I'm not uh, not going to believe you however hard you insist that the the combine starts to empty the the grain tank without any prompt or, or anything like that once the tractor is under it and I don't really get it why uh, Giants leaves the, this one out I mean that's that's not that big of a deal I would believe to, to program a uh, yeah it's I, I cannot have a look at the header so so it, it shouldn't be that much of a deal and and it's it's really nothing nothing custom stuff like the interactive control scripts or anything like that I mean toggling uh, yeah that's how it's called in in the in the programming language so so switching between Strauss and and chopper is a thing uh, fo unfolding and folding the the harvester is a thing then or the thresher, because because the combat uh, the the machine the big part is the thresher, 
Uh, is it any good? Yeah, it's good. I'm just checking the header. So, so I don't see why it's it's an issue to to have a a, a switch that. I mean, if you consider that that you have that on the silos and all that, why can't we have that on combines? It's so unrealistic that that it's not not the the driver or the operator of the combine who is emptying the grain tank. Anyway. How much is at it again? Uh, last night I woke in the middle of the night for him barking crazy, and it's not not that he would have let go of it. He was insisting. Yeah. Anyway, now we're on our second uh, round, so uh, by that time uh, it should work easily. We have enough space to do the emptying. No more messing in the bushes. And then uh, I think I should do three, uh, three rounds, shouldn't I, on, on this this field? And we'll we'll see how far we get time-wise, but I think definitely three three circles would be better because that would provide so much uh, more turning space, both for the combine and for the the trailer, the a tractor and the trailer, or cart, green cart, yeah, it's, it's called that, now I remember all of a sudden, yeah, so, I think I do three, Uh, now that it's working, it's it's pretty much a nice uh, combine, uh, but you probably know that because because I've tried uh, the Challenger version quite much over at the other farm. It's a, it's the same identical uh, mod, <laughs> by the way. If we we break the fourth wall for a second here. It's just that that it's it's the it's the header that it comes with. Which is really just just the the uh, vanilla giants uh, header for that combine with uh, an option to color the the sides of the <coughs> the header itself. Those design elements, which I would I would say are plastic uh, in real life. Yeah, I, I nicely broke, but I, I have to broke the, break the the swath here because um, that what that turn was just too, too narrow. Do without stopping. And I don't think we have to reverse with the tractor either. In fact, we will stop uh, not much before it.
Yeah. Oh, uh, the weather uh, check system says it's cloudy. I hope it's not going to rain because then I have to stop. And I'm not very happy about that <coughs> prospect. Now, one thing I don't know is how how thoroughly I'm going to cover this harvest because uh, it's a very nice map. I'm very much enjoying it, and I enjoy harvest on it through and through. I did twice, uh, so I know what I'm talking about. But I have no idea how much you enjoy, how much you would like to see. I think I will have to come to an agreement with myself and I'm I'm fairly certain that I'm going to do some of it uh, off camera because otherwise it's going to be very very slow it's still going to be harvested Oakfield next December But I will definitely provide snapshots, uh, especially when I will have stuff to talk about. Like me abandoning my summer schedule completely. Like I'm shooting this on, on Thursday and I haven't done a done of war video for for today. And that's that's intentional. I, I wasn't in the in the uh, in the mental space uh, where I have to be to do that, and the upcoming mission is a long and, and tedious one. It's it's a it's a well, it's got two parts if you like. The first part is a defense a defensive mission where you have to build up defenses against uh, waves and waves of enemies. Uh, and then the second part is uh, is, is a counter-attack practically because each and every single mission has to end with the enemy completely wiped from the map it's that, that sort of game, it's an old school RTS uh, no special set goals like in uh, in Starcraft 2 or anything like that mostly this this wipe and all type of deal oh also while we are emptying albeit we are we're almost done I quickly check out my uh, tour to see yeah I think I will probably carry this for sale right away I mean it's not not that good of a price but but not that horrible either but the hilltop stores are offering for wheat and I think that we are going to have just horrifying amounts of it. I mean, if you check the minimap, this one is a wheat field, uh, and then we have some in the storage, and this one is a wheat field. What we really will have very, very much is uh, sugar beet. We have two fields of sugar beet and barley, <laughs> which I'm not too fond of. Because we have one, two, three fields of. Oh, and I don't have field 
36 because I don't know why. I used to have that one. I clearly remember. I will have to rectify that situation. How much is it? Oh, half a meal. Anyway, yeah. So now we have some... Uh, there we go. Now we have some, some soy bean as well. I should have noticed that because I used to have that map. Now you've seen me buying a field on, on that we already had. Uh, I don't know what happened. It just slipped out. Um, whatever. Yeah, so we have, we have, uh, I have uh, horrible amounts of barley. Uh, the reason I'm not, I'm not, not too fond of barley is that it, it's, its price is not so good. Um, but it's the same amount of work. I mean, I'm I'm not even sure that uh, the, um, the the straw offsets it because with wheat it 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 helps certainly and usually wheat doesn't go on such bad prices. It can hit like fourteen hundred uh, pounds or or around that. And, and I am um, in my experience bar barley barely ah yeah barley barely ever goes over uh, 12 1250 if it's 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 1300 then it's it's a very very good price you have to grab it and carry all you have It's a it's a minor problem that right now the truck with the with the semi trailer is gone. Uh, alongside that nice lizard trailer. And and really really the one that I have uh, behind the fan tractor is, is the largest uh, that I have. Well, it's the only one that I have now. Now I don't have two grain carts. Uh, I figured it's it it, it really has no uh, no need for that, or there's no necessity for that. Uh, Especially because this this Damel, Damel's, uh, trailer is uh, pretty large. It's not not large enough to to take three complete uh, grain tanks of this combine, but it's pretty large. If I was still using the John Deere, then then probably uh, it it would have some some space to play around with. I mean, it, it could take like like four or three loads But with this bad boy, this hungry green behemoth, it's just just two and a half let's say and if I was carrying that to the uh, to the silos at the farm then I would do it so that I don't care about the rest I just I just load up twice uh, and then do around with it but but since we are selling it, we have to maximize. So here's to hoping that um, we will get some good money for our wheat.
because we have we have spent money so far uh, now we spent quite a lot of that actually uh, and we haven't done much yet and there is still more to spend because I don't have a milk uh, tanker and at some point I will have to sell the milk that the cows produce so there's that I think we're fine with that just yet, by the way. Now you may wonder why am I doing this. I do this to, to make nice even straw slots. Because if I stop that in my tracks, then it will leave ni a nice pile and the baler will struggle with it. And I don't want that. I mean, that Massey Ferguson Baylor that I have over here takes a lot, but not that much. Uh, also, it shows that this field needs plowing and lime badly, and probably it's not even fertilized, because the straw swords that I leave uh, with my way of treating the fields, uh, proper tillage, and 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 all that good stuff, well, those those watts are much much fatter. Those those really really uh, make the combines run for their money. This will be easy peasy. Since it doesn't have to be full, I think when I get down to the corner, I will stop for now and fill up the trailer and then go over and sell it. And that is also a nice point to stop uh, for today. And then next time we go to town with the rest of the field. Um, I mean I will have to turn around anyways so it really doesn't matter how I park it owned by you food type wheat growth harvested and if I move here ready to har okay that's that's very very uh, funny. Okay, yeah, and definitely needs plowing and needs lime. You see, uh, what? Uh, either that. No, it's. I'm learning the the controls. I'm not using the mouse this time. I'm using the keys. And the pairs are J and N and K and M. If you wonder, and that applies to the front loader as well because these are the, the same identical controls so yeah this trailer is fairly new as well as you can see it's a it's a triaxle one uh, a fairly large one mm, 
I'm, I'm not even sure that there is any other tractor in the form that could pull it uh, outside of this vent. Uh, maybe, maybe the other smaller one, just barely. But I think it would it would struggle heavily on on slopes like this. Ahead of us. Um, it's it's pretty nice. It's got turning axles, so so it's 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 a piece of cake uh, maneuvering with this bad boy. Uh, yeah, that, not not Dammers, Damler. Yeah, all these all these trademarks who can keep track of them. Yeah, TSM Mammoth. It's great too. Yeah, so we we take the the wheat to hilltop stores. Uh, practically my neighborhood. Uh, Whoa! We've got quite the traffic today. They heard that I'm I'm harvesting, so they said, "Okay, the neighborhood farmer is is doing a harvest. Let's get out on the road to see what he's doing. Maybe we can be in the way for him." Some inca inca view for you guys, and I think I will take the shorter way, and that will involve some inca driving because uh, I don't like uh, messing with the camera under the the tree lines. <coughs> it's much more simple to do so. Mm. Yeah, and that's the that's the junction for us to take. Uh, I need to have my own piece of fun. I think I'm going to annoy the, the traffic behind me if there is any by, by letting this car go. And now I've always anyone who is coming our way. It's a good thing that this road doesn't have much traffic. Practically us and a few neighbors every now and then. But then they, they clear out uh, early in the morning and I make sure not to use that road while they are still at home. I mean I have several entry points to the farm Oh yeah, we can turn back to the. And now here, the, here the road becomes nice and wide again because it's a village. But we are not caring about the, the lanes. In this it's a good thing that this is an old bridge and well built because <coughs> because it it can hold our machine. Ah yeah, we are on the truck struggle bus today. Because it's, it's climbing, of course, and we're pulling like 46. Four, yeah, I would say it's it's 40, 46 tons of, of wheat or around that amount, right? I I don't know. Let's let's say that a thousand liters is a ton, is a metric ton, around that. Of course, if, if you know your physics, you can argue with that, but, but please don't, for the sake of simplicity. Alright, so this is, this is Hilltop Stores for you guys, if, if you didn't know the place. Uh, you see, it's, it's right, you can... Practically, if you if you look down, uh, yeah, that is our wheat field that we want it to be. A, I want it to be a grass field, but it turned out turned out to be a wheat field. And if it wasn't for the for the curve of the hill, you could see the farm. But 
Because of that you cannot. I'm sorry guys. But but trust me the, the farm is behind the hill, the main farmyard. Uh You could almost see the cows if it wasn't for the for field nine, I think, or or, or something like that. Yeah, and we got we got sixty grand. That's that's good. I'm good with that. Now comes turning around. Oh, it might be that I have to reverse out of here. Oh shoot. You want to see that, don't you? I cannot, cannot go until I sort this out. We love to see disasters. Let's be honest here, don't you? Aha! I made it with minor damages. Yeah. Now, not, not to, not to, to uh, take away the boot of the of, of Bill going to be angry. Almost out, almost, almost. You see it's really the conundrum of, of, of uh, small machinery is not efficient with these sides of the, these fields with, with their side sizes but so with these field sizes uh, large machinery is uh, small machinery is, is not efficient and it takes ages to do stuff but these roads are not really suitable for these huge machines <clears throat> like really anyway this is it for today's episode thank you very much for sticking around and watching I hope you enjoyed yourselves, I definitely did. It's always good fun to do some harvesting. Uh, we almost almost did the three headlands or three circles on around the headlands. So we had some good times. So please don't be afraid to put down your thoughts in the comment section, subscribing or, or liking the video. Also don't forget to tell your friends about the channel and make sure they tell their friends and everybody watches me. And see you guys next, next time. Bye bye.